So you scheduled your AWS certified developer exam, but you need some tips on how to pass it. Don't worry. Listen, I've got five tips for you today so that you can pass your AWS certified developer uh, exam. And stay tuned until the end because I've got a bonus tip. So let's talk about it. So the AWS developer associate exam is broken into five domains. <clears throat> that is deployment, security, development with AWS services, refactoring, and monitoring slash troubleshooting. Okay, and you'll see this on the uh, diagram here in the video of how it's broken up and the percentages that each domain gives, right? So you need about 70-ish percent, 70, 72%, percent, um, and you need to get 720 points overall to pass the exam. All right, so let's talk about the tips. Tip number one, know your AWS services, right? It's crucial that you understand and can explain or use AWS services such as EC2, S3, RDS, etc. You need to know how these services function inside of AWS and how they function with other services in AWS. And so much of the AWS Developer Associate exam has overlap with the Architect Associate exam. So knowing these key services, it's crucial to pass an exam. Don't just think that you can go and learn um, how to develop, but not know any of the other services um, because you won't pass the exam. You need to be ready to have a wider range of the services available inside of AWS. So tip number two, know your security, all right? It is imperative and important that you understand how security groups, VPCs, key pairs, the key management service, etc., works. It is so important that you understand how you can encrypt these different services, how the key management services work. You need to know about the encryption keys, for example, with S3. You need to know how to secure Lambda, API Gateway, etc. You need to know the security inside and out is a huge part of this exam, right? And this comes up a ton, I mean a ton. So know your security, know your encryption, you know, know the keys, how they work, whether it's an encrypted data key, whatever, whether it's plain text or not, you need to know these things. Study these hardcore. Tip number three, know the serverless application model. Know it 1,000% read the white papers for AWS, know what services are included in SAM or service application model and how they work with each other. You need to know Lambda, API Gateway, S3, etc. You will get asked quite a few questions on how to build a serverless application um, using SAM, okay? So you will get asked this on the exam how to do it. I don't know the exact questions, but like I said, it will come up, so know this. It is a big part of this exam. Tip number four, you need to know your basic AWS CLI commands. At the very minimum, you need to know how to use, uh, you don't need to know some of the basic commands. So like how to get and put into S3, how to use the CLI to work with Lambda or Elastic Beanstalk, you need to know these commands because it's gonna ask you on this exam some of these commands. It will ask you to say, look at this command and you know, do X, Y, or Z. How do you know it's right? So know your commands. Tip number five, know CICD. Continuous integration, continue this deployment. Know this. You need to know how the whole CICD workflow works in AWS. You need to know code commit, code pipeline, code bill, code star, etc. You need to know how deployments work. You need to know which deployment is best in which scenario. You need to know how to read and write an appspec.yaml or buildspec.yaml file. You need to know what those files are in the first place. And you need to know the AWS pipeline stages. You will get asked about this. You need to know at what, part, at what stage of the pipeline what happens. So you need to know this. Study it, study it, study it. Bonus tip, know how to tr troubleshoot the five above tips. You need to know how to troubleshoot Lambda, API Gateway, DynamoDB. You need to know the monitoring services. You need to know how these services work, how you can monitor Lambda, how you can monitor API Gateway and S3, 
All right, you need to know these things. You also need to know how those monitoring services, how they can be used as events. So like CloudWatch events, you need to know these. They're easy points. Bonus, bonus tip, right? Be ready to read and explain cloud formation templates. So you need to know what part of cloud for what part of a cloud formation template is what. So what it's for. So you need to know uh, which part of cloud formation does what. You need to know if it's where it goes in it, what goes in that. You need to also be prepared to understand Elastic Beanstalk. You want to know um, uh, some Docker as well. And you need to know infrastructure as code. You're not going to get asked a whole lot on infrastructure as code, but you do need to know how to read it. Right, so these are my, I guess, seven tips, but really the big five with the bonus, bonus tips. Right, listen, if you like this video, go ahead, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know if you have your exam. If you take your exam, let me know if your tip, if these tips help you. Also, like I said, go ahead, subscribe. I'm gonna start working on more AWS stuff here. I'm gonna start, we'll do like some labs. We'll do um, some how to prep for the architect associate, you know, how to study for these exams etc. So some study tips, you know, not what just to know, but actually how to study for it. Like I said, we're going to do a lot more here on the channel, focusing on um, how to, you know, beef up your, your repertoire as it comes to like cloud computing, uh, development, etc. like that. Also, be sure to check out the courses in the description. If you're really, really interested in learning AWS, the courses that I'm recommending are awesome. They're the ones that I used whenever I was getting started in this. Uh, several years ago, and so they're really great. Okay, also there's going to be some links for some stuff like um, Wiz Labs and, and things like that. Uh, so go ahead if you're interested, check out those links. And listen, have a great day, and as always, keep it real.